Hi everybody, my name is Becky Miller and I live in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. And I'm a Reiki practitioner and teacher and have been since so oh, about 2005. And I love the world of Reiki. I am here today to talk to you, take about 10 minutes, to just give you a brief synopsis of what Reiki is and how it can benefit you in your day-to-day -day activities in life. The word itself is kind of unusual, isn't it? Reiki, when you really think about it. It's an energy healing modality that comes to us from Japan, namely Usui Mokayo or Mokayo Usui, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, because the Japanese culture sometimes uses the last name first when introducing themselves. But he is the gentleman that brought Reiki to the world. Uh, Reiki can be broken up into two smaller words. Rei, R-E-I, means universal energy, that energy that comes from source, from the creator, from God, however, again, you want to look at it. But it's universal energy. Ki, K-I, is our energy. Some of you may have heard of Qigong or the word Qi. That's the Chinese word for life force, life energy. Qi is the Japanese word, K-I. So it's the bringing together of the universal energy and our energy. Energy is in everything. It's in us. It's in the rocks, plants, trees, clouds. Everything vibrates because the world is made up of energy. It's just that we can't see it. If you can imagine, for example, your radio or your TV, when it's off, it doesn't mean that those radio waves or TV waves aren't there. It's just that you're not plugged into them. Well, that's the way our energy works and the universal energy works too. It's always there. We just need to plug in because we can't see it. So Reiki basically is the pure flow of energy to help realign our body. It washes down, clearing obstructions and strengthening the flow of the energy within our mind, body, and spirit. You know how we want our blood to flow freely through our body? Well, we also want our energy to flow freely without obstruction. And when that happens, when our energy is clear or freer of blockages, we're able to strengthen our vibration and let the energy flow through our mind, body, and spirit freely. This in turn increases our vibration level and helps keep us calm, more relaxed, and face life with a happier, more mindful presence. Now, how do we know we have blockages if we can't see the energy? Well, we do. Believe me, we do, because we're alive. <laughs> we have stressors, we have traumas, we have conflicts that come to us day in and day out. And these things get stuck to us, okay? Um, I call them stressors, traumas. If you would picture a beautiful flowing river, okay? The river is gently flowing, no obstructions. The water is gently moving down the river. That's kind of like what our energy is like when we're first born. And then life starts happening. And things get into our river. Sand and pebbles and rocks and sometimes even boulders. This could be anything from somebody calling you a name. Somebody saying that you didn't do something right. You thinking in your mind, I shouldn't have said that. I should have said this. Those are all 
kind of minor stressors, but they still leave something in our river. And then there's the bigger traumas, which could be physical or mental abuse. And those sometimes can leave boulders in our river. Our energy still flows, but it has to take a different path and makes things more off balance, if you will. So what Reiki does, it helps to bring those stressors up to the surface where we can see them, where we can gently release them with love. And again, that helps increase our vibration and leads to a happier, healthier life. Now, I'm not saying once you get attuned to Reiki that you'll never have another problem or that you're cured. <clears throat> this is a lifelong practice. As you know, stressors and traumas continue to come to us every day. So each and every day we have to practice releasing, staying in peace, okay? Trying to live a calmer, happier life. Just like if you took an aspirin, um, that got rid of your headache, you wouldn't expect the aspirin to never give you another headache. So this is considered a lifelong practice. Now, just to be clear, Reiki is not a medical or religious practice. It's an energy healing modality that can enhance your daily life, but it's not intended to to be used for medical treatment instead of going to see your doctor for any physical or mental ailments. It's not even yet acknowledged by the medical profession like maybe other therapies are, occupational therapy or speech therapy. But it has been more recently been used in many, many hospitals across the country, especially in the cancer treatment centers with some really good uh, and surprising results. So that's wonderful to hear. A Reiki treatment is usually done on a massage table and can last anywhere from an hour to 45 minutes to an hour. The individual is fully clothed and the practitioner either places their hand on the, on the individual's body or hovers close to the body head, ears, throat, heart, all over, you know, knees, legs, etc. And the individual themselves can experience maybe a, a sensation of cold or hot, or, or hot. Sometimes can, people have seen colors or uh, some individuals have told me they've seen actual people. Some individuals feel nothing, okay? All of it is good. The energy is realigning. Again, we can't see it, but it is realigning and releasing from your body. So if you don't experience anything, don't think you're doing anything wrong. For example, I had a friend um, come over for a Reiki treatment. And she said she felt nothing. Okay, she thanked me and went about her way. Well, two days later, she called me up and told me she was very excited. She told me that she had an unexpected call from her ex-husband. And it was the first time she had a conversation with him where he was, she was calm, cool, and collected and was able to get some things figured out. Now, nothing had changed in their relationship. It was just the way she approached it. And she contributed that to Reiki. Okay. Um, later on in this training, I'm going to be doing a guided meditation with you. Um, mindfulness, staying in the present moment, is a very important part of this practice, as well as being able to raise your vibration. So I'm just going to go over, give you a tool or two on how you can do that on your own. Okay. If you're interested in learning more about Reiki, 
You can reach me at BeckyIsReiki at gmail.com. Or if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I thank you for your time today. And I leave you with love and, your, and blessings on this journey we call life. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.